Hey guys, it's Art Weston. We've got a late entry in the abrasion test. Um, thanks to Andy, uh, he suggested I look at Trilene's big game, um, which I have. Ha I happen to have a 40 pound spool and when I did a caliper test on the diameter um, and then a, a break and strike test on the digital force gauge, uh, it came in uh, very commiserate with the other six lines that I was testing, so perfectly fine to enter this guy in uh, to the competition here. Um, I had just done a previous video testing its abrasion resistance and it didn't do very well. So I'm gonna give it another shot, but I'll just show you the updated table here. Um, it only lasted seven turns of the crank here, um, which is uh, commiserate to the on day um, tournament line. So uh, the other ones that fared better, um, I believe are all copolymers, which uh, I believe have a harder coating on the outside for um, abrasion resistance specifically. Um, the other thing of note um, on this big game is that it's quite stretchy. So it's second only to the fluorocarbon. So um, the most stretch of the non-fluorocarbon, non-braided lines, and that has its pros and cons depending on the situation. Um, but this is a bit concerning um, because I think it's somewhat widely regarded as a highly abrasion resistant line. But again, that might just be that you know, anecdotal perspectives that are out there without people really testing them. So let's see how it does. I've got another sample ready to go here. Um, again, this is the Trilene Big Game 40 pound. I've got to put it on a spot of the 600 grit sandpaper that hasn't yet been used. And again, it's the number of cranks it survives. So um, the record is 15-ish at the moment. So that's the number to beat. And the previous test was seven. So let's see how it does. One, two, three, four, five. Only five. So, um, hmm. um, I, you know, I've had this spool for a year or two, um, I'm not certain if, if monofilament degrades over time, uh, but uh, you know, if I happen to, to come across a newer uh, big game, you know, I'd be happy to test it again, but you know, uh, it's not faring uh, very well there. So you know, I'll give it an average of six on the grid. So I'll do that right now, but it uh, came in um, poorly on a relative basis to the suffix Tritanium Plus uh, and the Momai uh, High Catch IGFA in terms of abrasion resistance. Anyway, thank you guys.